The Ma's family has been known for their striking good looks for generations, earning admiration and wealth due to their beauty. The eldest son, Okis, is an internet influencer with millions of followers, renowned for his looks and expertise as a love guru who helps men win over their crushes. Their father, Pakar, was once a notorious heartbreaker, having dated over a thousand girls before settling down. The mother, with her masculine features and prominent mustache, is also considered handsome. Kulin, the youngest son, is the most attractive of them all, but struggles with the burden of his handsomeness. Unlike the rest of his family, he longs for a normal life, wishing he were only mildly attractive so he could go out without being swarmed by adoring fans. Whenever girls catch a glimpse of him, they go wild, fainting. As a result, Kulin has been homeschooled and has no friends except for his pet fish, with whom he plays cards and talks out loud. His family watches him through cameras, worried for his well-being and yearning for him to have a typical teenage experience. Despite Okus's efforts to show Kulin pictures of girls to spark his interest, Kulin insists he's attracted to someone who doesn't idolize him for his looks. When all else fails, the family decides to fake financial troubles to motivate him to attend school. One night, Kulin overhears them lamenting that they might only have scrambled eggs for breakfast until they can afford his homeschooling. Feeling guilty, he announces the next morning that he'll start school for the upcoming semester. His family rejoices until he specifies he'll only attend an all-boys school. While they would prefer him to interact with girls, they're relieved he's taking this first step. On his first day, Okus drops him off on his bike, but Kulin keeps his helmet on, hoping to conceal his looks. Unfortunately, the helmet attracts more attention than he anticipated. He takes a seat in the back, but the class bully, Sidi, immediately calls him out. When the teacher enters and insists he remove his helmet, Kulin hesitates but ultimately complies, slowly unveiling his face in a dramatic reveal. As the teacher is loaded into the ambulance, her nosebleed and hyperventilation spark concern among the students who complain to the principal about the overwhelming beauty of the new student, Kulin. In a panic, Kulin rushes down the hallway but gets tripped by a group of bullies calling themselves the Tigatak, led by Sidi, the principal's son. They dramatically introduce themselves like superheroes, then reveal their plan. They need Kulin's help to ask the stunning Amanda to prom. Stuck in their senior year for three years, they refuse to graduate until Sidi secures a date with her. Reluctantly, they assign Kibo, an innocent student who's been a victim of their pranks, to guide Kulin. Kulin and Kibo head to the principal's office to report the bullying, but the principal, anxious about his son's refusal to graduate, pressures them to comply with the bully's request. That evening, Kulin appreciates Kibo's genuine kindness, which feels refreshing compared to the attention he receives for his looks. The next day at BBM High, the girls immediately sense Kulin's presence and demand that he remove his helmet. In a dramatic reveal, he takes it off, causing chaos among the girls. The frenzy captures media attention, and soon clips of swooning girls flood social media, dubbing Kulin the too-handsome-to-handle guy. Amanda, the hottest student and model, becomes smitten, seeing Kulin as the first boy who matches her beauty and status. As news spreads, a crowd of girls gathers outside the Moss residence, and Kulin's family starts charging for house tours. Watching from the shadows, Kulin feels betrayed as his pet fish is mishandled and killed by the visitors. Now on a rooftop, he hides from the crazed fans below, grappling with his newfound fame and isolation. Kulin's life takes a whirlwind turn after a mysterious girl appears on the rooftop, sparking a series of unexpected events. Initially startled, Kulin's encounter with her leaves him intrigued and hopeful. When he reconnects with his friend Kibo, they bond over shared interests, including a passion for collectible cards. Their quest to find the girl from the roof leads them to Amanda and Kulin's crush, Ray Ray. Despite Kulin's growing friendship with Kibo, jealousy brews when he realizes Kibo also has feelings for Ray Ray. Conflicted, he seeks advice from his brother Okis, who is eager to help but emotional about the moment. Kulin navigates his feelings. He learns that Rari seems to reciprocate Kibo's affection. This realization fuels his jealousy, prompting him to confront Rari, only to discover she doesn't feel the same way about him. At Amanda's birthday party, Kulin's hope crumbles further when he witnesses a kiss between Amanda and Kibo, which sends Rare into a tailspin of heartbreak. Feeling helpless, Kulin confesses his feelings to Rare, but she only sees him as a friend. 
The situation escalates when Kibo faces bullying for his new relationship with Amanda, leaving Kulin grappling with guilt and regret for his actions. The next day, Kibo gives Kulin a legendary card from his collection that Kulin has wanted for a long time. Burdened with guilt, Kulin confesses everything he's done wrong. Kibo is shocked and hurt by the betrayal, claiming he would have left Rero if he had known Kulin liked her too. This only deepens Kulin's pain. Ultimately, Kibo orders him to leave the house immediately. Acknowledging his mistakes, Kulin quietly departs. After a month, he returns home. His family is overjoyed, but Kulin feels disconnected. He locks himself in his room, missing his best friend. They occasionally cross paths, but only share brief glances. Concerned, Kulin's mother approaches him one night, giving him his pet fish that has somehow survived and offering to let him return to homeschooling if he prefers. Touched by her support, Kulin realizes he has people rooting for him, which inspires him to make amends with Kibo. The next morning, he rushes to Rere and tells her everything, then seeks out Kibo to apologize. Initially dismissive, Kibo opens up about his love for Rere when Kulin reveals that Rere has been listening on the phone. This moment helps mend their friendship, allowing Kulin to reconnect with both of them. A few days later, they attend prom together, Kibo with Rari and Kulin with Amanda. As expected, Kulin and Amanda are crowned prom king and queen. While at the event, Kulin overhears a girl comment that he is only mildly handsome, sparking his interest and hinting at the start of a new relationship.